Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, I am going to teach you an advanced method of order buy. In this, we are going to see how will you short by salary column and by department column. If you look at the output, the output is shorted. So ascending order, you can see that 15,000 first and the 40,000 at the end. And also if you look at the department column, here there are two people from two different departments are earning the same amount 15,000 from IT and 15,000 from HR. Now if you short in ascending order, right? So if you see H, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H and then I come. So H has come on the top so from the small to the bigger. In the ascending order alphabetically it is ordered. Same thing if you look at finance, there are two people who are earning finance. F came first and then 9. E, F, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, right? I comes later. So you can see it has ordered in the ascending order. Same thing, we will try to achieve descending order. We will put the salary in descending order and same thing, we'll put the department in descending order. So how to see that? Let's see on UAPA Studio. Moving on to UAPA Studio. First, let me show you my input data. The input data is there on my sheet file. This is the simple data table I have created. Now after this, it's supposed to write the output in the sheet number 7. Let me clear everything that is already there and I'm going to save it. Sheet number 5 becomes our input and the output should be written in the sheet number 7. Clear? Let's move on to Yapa Studio. I have created two Excel process scopes if you see. The first one reads the data and keeps in the data table variable. Let me show you that. It reads from sheet 5 and saves it in DT variable. Okay, so let me minimize that. Done. Now let's move on to Excel process scope. Here it writes to sheet number 7 from the output using the output DT. These are the two data variables I am using. So the input data table is DT and the output data table is this is the variable which is storing the output value. Now let's write the code. First of all, let's take the name of your input data table, then convert that to as enumerable dot and then I will use order by. Okay. So first condition is I have to order the salary column. For that use parenthesis, write the lambda function and here I would take the name of the column which is salary column. Okay, if you want, you can convert this to integer. Okay, let's put here. So here your order by is done. After that, we have to order another column. Now to order one more column, you have to use something called then by. Okay, then by and then you write which column you need. So let's once again, once you write the function, you'll be writing the lambda function once again. Function y. And then here I will say Y and I want to short the next column which is department column. So I will say DEPT. Okay. Dot to string. So I am converting two columns now. Now once you convert you should need to know what, what would be the output of this. If you keep your mouse pointer it says you are getting the output in ordered innumerable row collection of data rows. As if you read the as. Okay as ordered innumerable row collection of data row. So it is giving a collection of data row. Now if you have this, it is pretty easy to convert to data table by writing copy to data table. Done. So our code is ready. Now what we will do, we will copy this code to a notepad. So first thing what we are doing, short by salary and department column. So what is the code that we have created? This is the code. Now let us save it and run the code. So the execution is complete. Let's go here to the sheet number 7 and you can see everything is shorted. 15,000 A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, 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 R came first and then I. Okay, the same thing for 30,000 finance and IT. Now we'll do just the opposite. Opposite it, descending, okay. How do you descend, put that in descending order? Now for that, only thing you have to do is highlight this and hit on control space. 
If you do this, you get something called order by descending. Simply replace that with order by descending. And here then by if you hide, click, keep the mouse pointer and click on control space, then you get then by descending simply. So you have to simply simply replace both of them. Let me copy the code here. Second descending order. Okay, same thing, just a descending order we want to achieve. Now, if you hit on save and let me show you, let us compare it. Okay, so if I keep this output on a new sheet so that we can compare side by side and let us clear this output in the sheet number seven and go here and let's run this code. Okay. So I hope the right code got executed. Yes. Now, if I go to the Excel file in the sheet number seven, you, you can see how the output has come 40,000, 30,000, 40,000, 30,000. And then um, if you see 30,000, there are two common files here. It came in a descending order, not in an ascending order. If you look, compare that the last value we had, uh, for example, 30,000 finance had, had come on the top, then IT had come. But here, if you see IT had come in the top and finance, same thing happened here in the HR also getting it. So you have learned two important points today. One is short by salary in department column. And then you have learned how to put that in descending order. One question that comes to our mind, can I use, let's say I'm descending, but I want uh, this department to be coming in the ascending order, not in descending order. That also you can do. You can do alternative combinations. So here I am simply using then by save it and run this. Okay, execution completed. Now if you see it, it has come in the same order, just that here IT was previously on the top and finance was at the bottom. Now it has come in the ascending order. This is in descending order. This is in ascending order. So both the things can be achieved. I hope you have learned something new today. If so, please do give it a like to this video. Do not forget, give it a like and do subscribe to the channel and do share with your friends who would like to learn from us. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for your contribution. Let's meet once again.